I was just reflecting on some seasons of anxiety, fear, insecurity that I've walked through. Um, and I was noticing a common factor. I was noticing that a lot of my anxiety, my fear, my insecurity in life has gone hand in hand with how I've talked to myself. It's gone hand in hand with the way that I've criticized myself, negative views I've had about myself, ways I've compared myself to others. And I, as I was reflecting on this today, I felt like God was dropping in my spirit that a lot of us that go through this, maybe are going through this. And I, I heard the words, choose to befriend yourself. That's the words I heard in my spirit. Um, love yourself. Choose to befriend yourself. And I thought, how many of us make this our intentional practice to really be kind to ourselves in this way? So as I was thinking about this, um, I was thinking about 1 Corinthians chapter 13. It talks all about love. And I feel like it gives us a blueprint of maybe some ways that we can start to love ourselves in this way and to kind of stop the chatterbox of some of the negative self-talk that goes on. Listen to this. In 1 Corinthians 13, starting in verse 4, it says, Love is patient and kind. Hold up. Are you being patient with yourself? Are you being kind to yourself? Maybe we could start there. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. Love is not jealous. We don't need to find our sense of value um, in comparing ourselves to somebody else. We don't have to try to prove that we're worthy or valuable um, by putting maybe somebody else down and elevating or magnifying our own sense of accomplishment. Um, it talks about it is not irritable. It keeps no record of being wronged. I was thinking just how many times I've kept a record against myself. Mistakes I've made, times I've fallen short, um, limitations I've had, just different things. Have you kept a record? Are you keeping a record? You know, when you make a mistake, are you thinking about 15, you know, whatever, 15 mistakes ago? Right? Are you thinking about all the times you've made a mistake, all the times you've messed it up? I think we do this sometimes. Um, if you jump down to verse 7, it says, Love never gives up. It never loses faith. It is always hopeful and it endures through every circumstance. How many of us have been tempted at times to give up on ourselves, to lose faith in ourselves? Don't. Don't do it. Never give up on you. Never lose faith in you. Um, always, always believe in yourself, right? I'm going to just tell you a little secret. None of these things would be possible without the love of God in our lives. We're able to do these things because God shows us the way. He shows us how to love. He loves us in this way so we can love others in this way. But guess what? He also does it so that we can learn to love ourselves in this way. So today, my challenge to you, to myself, to us is this. Let's choose to befriend ourselves. Let's choose to treat ourselves as a friend, to be kind and patient to ourselves. And let's choose to love ourselves today. All right, guys. Catch you soon. Bye.